Hello, this is Mr. Bacon Bits, and welcome back to Amori. This time, I'm looking at all the weapons and equipment that you can get in the game. This is including Headspace and the uh, Real Life Far Away Town segments. But first off, let's go ahead and do weapons in uh, Headspace. Okay, so... For Omori, uh, his weapon is a little unique. He only has one weapon, but it changes from the shiny knife, to the regular knife, to the dull knife as the days go by. You know, increasing in power every time. Interesting how a fresh knife does less damage than a rusty, than a dull knife. And if you're doing the Hikikomori route, it turns into a rusty knife after the headspace reset. Having said that, I have the red knife, which is actually from an abbey tentacle at Sweetheart's Castle. Uh, if, you're, if you're not aware, like if you haven't watched my walkthrough, um, you can get prizes from abbey tentacles by finding and defeating abbey in the abyss only during the Hikikomori route, and you have to make sure you spare her. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for Omori's weapons. Very basic. Next for Aubrey, the stuffed toy is the is her starting weapon. It's the uh, it's the stuffed toy that Omori gets her. So nothing too special with that. The Comet Hammer is next. It is found in the Junkyard by Glasses Ghost. What a lucky find, so, um... I guess that means it increases luck. Body Pillow is next. In order to get this, you basically have to sleep in Sweetheart's bed in her castle. Sweetheart Bust. If you get this from completing the Pessy Sphinx quest. And, uh... You know what? Something I don't have here. Um... The Pool Noodle. Which you can actually get from this thing right here. Yeah, you can apparently get it from there. Um, the mailbox starts starts the offer at like five thousand clams, but you can you can just keep uh, you can just keep denying the price until you can eventually get it for free. Now, the thing with the pool noodle is that it's actually a pretty useless weapon, all things considered. So, what you'll need to do is you'll have to give the pool noodle to Burley in the, uh, in the last resort. And, uh, she'll be able to turn it into a cool noodle, which is an actual weapon. And, uh, I guess I missed it here. The mailbox is next, from the, uh from a watermelon item box after the green teleporter in Humphrey. You know, it's where you go west into the teleporter area with the bomb and everything. And finally, the one that I have equipped right now, Baseball Bat. It says Aubrey's Ultimate Weapon. This is from an Abbey Tentacle where the stuffed toy was. So, that's pretty cool. This is indeed Aubrey's best weapon. No reason to... No reason to really, uh... Equip any other weapon once you have this. Moving on to Kel. We have the Rubber Ball, which is the starting weapon. Actually has more attack than the Chicken Ball that I have, but... There's a reason why I have that. Meteor Ball is next. 
A literal meteor. What are the chances? This is in a watermelon at the Moon Room in uh, Otherworld Junkyard. What I mean by the Moon Room is that it's like the, uh, the area where a bunch of trash containers are piled up on top of each other. You can, you can find this here. And, you know, at the very top of the pile, there's like a couch where you can look at the moon. So next in the list is Blood Orange, just a red orange. This is found at Joe's house at Orange Oasis. Next is Coconut, brown, furry, and full of juice. This is found at the Royal Kitchen in uh, Sweetheart's Castle. Finding this also gives Kel the Juice Me skill. Next is Beach Ball. This is found outside the Last Resort, which uh, it basically kind of specializes in speed until you get the chicken ball. Next is Globe. This is found at the Humphrey Library area. As you can see, this specializes in hit rate, which uh, I guess increases power? Well, I, I, know hit, I know hit rate involves, like, accuracy, I'm pretty sure, but... Not sure why you would need that much hit rate. At any rate, next is Jack, just a pumpkin. Just a pumpkin. This is found at the Rare Bear Den, which, you know, you can find a hatch for it at uh, Sweetheart's Castle Garden. Just uh, have to fight a ton of rare bears in order to get to it. Next is Snowball. This is found at the Snow Globe Mountain. In other words, you'll need to be at the Hikikomori route in order to even get this. Picking this up also gives Kel the Snowball skill. Next is Chicken Ball, which I have right now. This is gotten by defeating the chicken at the top level of Dino's Dig. Um, that chicken is... is interesting and unique because if it flees then you will no longer be able to uh, encounter it. But the, the thing about this is that it specializes heavily specializes in speed. As you can see it gives Kel like 331 speed. That combined with the run and gun skill and then like um, you know, making him happy and flex, flexing and all of that. That, that makes him a powerhouse. That's why I have this equipped over his ultimate weapon, which is the basketball. This is from an Abbey Tentacle by the Foggy Bridge in Vast Forest. As you can see, it buffs up his juice and attack. Uh, he doesn't have as much speed, unfortunately, but he does have increased luck. So, yeah, I just have his speed because it works better with his run and gun skill. Okay, next for hero. We have the spatula, that's his, st that's his starting weapon. Next is the baking pan which is found inside a watermelon at the Rosa Chase area in uh, Otherworld Junkyard. Finding this also gives him the Snack Time skill. Next is Teapot. This is found at the Royal Chamber's balcony in Sweetheart's Castle. Finding this also gives him the Tea Time skill. The LOL Sword, you can get this from the Weeping Willow quest. Uh, this essentially makes it so that he'll always start happy in, in the battle. Kind of neat. Next is the Tenderizer. 
This is found in Snow Globe Mountain, and finding it also gives him the Tenderize uh, skill, which is basically his best attacking skill. Old Reliable, which I have equipped right now, is Hero's Ultimate Weapon. Snacks will restore more heart and juice in battle. This is found from an Abbey Tentacle at the Toll Road in Deep Well. Next is Frying Pan. This is from the Royal Kitchen in uh, Sweetheart's Castle. Snacks will restore more heart in battle. So, essentially, a less effective version of Old Reliable. Yeah. Next is Blender. Snacks will restore more juice in battle. Uh, this is found at the Experiment 667 Chase in Humphrey. The thing about the items that you find during that chase, they can only be found while you're being chased. If you come back after finishing the chase, all the items are gone. So these... so stuff like the blender can be missable. Uh, finding this also gives Hero the refresh skill. Next is the Shucker. This is found at the abandoned site. It says good for opening muscles. Indeed, it actually deals extra damage to muscle enemies specifically. It's a very weird specific weapon. But it, it makes Hero like the best character to fight against, but against muscle enemies. Outside of weapons, there are a couple of other skills that Hero can learn. I figured I'd cover them right now. Um, let's go to the skills. Yeah, there are a couple of other skills that Hero can find. Uh, one of them is Gator Aid. This is found... Uh, this is learned from the Gator Sculptor at Last Resort in the Hikikomori route. Basically, once you get the giant check, you can come back to the Gator Sculptor where the on the fourth floor and pay him to sculpt a bunch of uh, sculptures of Amori, his friends, and eventually the gator himself. Once all that's done, he'll give you this. Boosts all friends' defense. It's a pretty, pretty nice, it's a pretty nice skill, all things considered. And the other one is spicy food. Damages a fo foe and makes them angry. This is found from the man on fire at Orange Oasis. He's a fast little mutter. <laughs> he's a f he's a fast little mutter, so it might take a bit of a uh, trial and error to actually get to talk to him. But once you do manage to talk to him, he'll give you this skill. And with all of that, that's all of the weapons for all of the characters. Next, we are moving on to charms. Just get there real quick. Oh, and in terms of skills, Amori, um... Yeah, in terms of skills, these other characters, uh... Finding all, finding all the weapons will get them all of their skills. For Amori, uh... He gets all of his skills through leveling up, and, uh and from doing the Lost Library segment in uh, the Hikikomori route. Alright, so moving on to the charms now. We have the uh, quote-unquote gold watch found at the junkyard. It's a sell-only item because it's pretty useless. I don't have it because I just sold it. Uh, three-leaf clover, just a regular clover. It increases luck by three. This is found at the vast forest on the west side. Next is four-leaf clover. This increases luck by four and heart by four. Uh, just talk to Mountain at the train station as hero, and you'll get this. Next is five-leaf clover. Luck increases with more energy. So it increases my luck by 5. 
and the more energy I have, it'll increase it, it'll increase my luck even further. Uh, in order to get this, you basically have to complete this stick in the mud quest found at the uh, cattail field in Otherworld. Next is the appendix. It just literally does nothing. This is found at the Rafting Rapids segment in Humphrey. Like, literally, this this charm just does nothing. Next is Backpack. Increases defense by two. Found outside the junkyard near Maestro. Next is the Baseball Cap, a mystical hat dating back to 1990X. Incre increases defense by 10 and speed by 15. This is found at the Abyss. I'm pretty damn sure this is an Earthbound reference. Next is Binoculars. Two Noculars. Noculars at times two. Defense plus two increases hit rate. This is found at a trash container in Junkyard. Next is Blanket. Soft, fluffy, and protects you from monsters. Defense plus one, heart plus ten. This is found at the Otherworld outskirts behind tra uh, traffic cones. Next is Book. Contains a wealth of knowledge within it. Where it gains more EXP in battle. Kinda useless to me now since I'm like max level, but... This is found at the Royal Library. Just climb one of the many ladders and inspect the bookshelves and you'll be able to find it. Next is bow tie, defense plus four, a simple and elegant bow. Basically, inspect the twin brother's bed at the servants' quarters in Sweetheart's Castle. I forgot to mention that the Royal Library is also in Sweetheart's Castle. Bracelet, a simple bracelet, defense plus one, pretty useless all things considered. This is found at the vast forest west side. So I guess it's an early game charm. Bread phones. Two rolls of bread. Heart plus ten, defense plus five. Life jam will heal more heart when used in battle. Pretty useful charm. The, uh, to get to get this, you have to defeat the unbred twins at Orange Oasis's Brevren. Brevin. Bubble wrap. Therapeutic packaging. Defense plus three. Not too special. This is found at a trash container in Junkyard. Bunny ears. Helps you hear better. Defense plus three. Speed plus twelve. There seems to be a correlation between speediness and wearing bunny ears. Might actually just be a Zelda reference. Uh, this can be gotten from Leafy for killing 25 bunnies. Cat Ears gives you cat-like reflexes. Defense plus one and speed plus ten. This is found at Pyrefly Forest near the mirror. So, yeah, pretty, pretty self-explanatory there. Cell phone. Absolutely indestructible. Oh yeah, it's one of those old Nokia phones. Defense plus ten. To get this, you deposit 25 pieces of trash at Otherworld's recycle machine. There's unfortunately no way to keep track of how many pieces of trash that you deposited, unless you are keeping count yourself. So, just keep doing it and you'll get it. Clam coin is next, said to bring great wealth and fortune. Increases clams earned in battle. Pretty nice. This is found at Life Jam Guy's room in Last Resort. Wear this along with defeating happy enemies and yeah. Uh, cool glasses is next, even cooler when worn indoors. Attack plus five, defense plus five. Talk to talk to uh, the character Jet Setter at Underwater Highway. Uh, he's he's part of the biker gang next to the Mustard Sub. Uh, you'll have to talk to all of the biker gang as hero in order to get items from them, and this is one of them. 
Uh, next is Cough Mask, which I believe I have Aubrey wearing. Yes. Keep, g keeps germs close to your face. Increases all stats. Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting that this is shown as like an ultimate piece of equipment, huh? This is found from an Abbey Tentacle at Pyrefly Forest. Like, this literally is one of the best items that you can wear. Because, let's see. Yeah, look, look at how much it increases Aubrey's stats just by wearing it. Not bad. Not bad. So next is... Daisy. A Daisy from Daisy. Heart plus 10, wearer starts happy in battle. Uh, you get this by completing the Daisy's Dilemma quest. It is very early on in the game. You can even get it bef you can even, like, do it... Well, I take that back. You have to be in Otherworld in order to finish the quest. But it, it, it is very early on. You can do it during the prologue, so... Pretty nice. Next is Eye Patch, the first step to becoming a pirate. Attack plus 7, but reduces hit rate. Understandably. Uh, this can be gotten from a space ex-boyfriend. Just defeat him in battle and you'll find it. Or you'll just get it straight from him. Next is Foe Tail. Not a real tail. Speed plus 15. This is on the path between Firefly, Pyrefly Forest and Lost Forest. You have to make sure that you get it before you finish Lost Forest because... If you go through Lost Forest, you'll miss out on this. Next is Fedor Fedora. Mr. Jawson pulls it off. Defense plus 5, luck plus 5. This is found in Wolves and Lambs room in Last Resort. wonder why they have it. Next is Finger. A dismembered finger, still fresh. Attack plus 10, defense minus 5. Wearer starts angry in battle. Marina gives you this after finishing her quest in the Hikikomori route. Next is Foxtail, a real foxtail. Speed increases with more energy. Interesting. This is found in the rare bear den in uh, Sweetheart's Castle Garden. Friendship Bracelet, a bracelet that embodies friendship. Heart plus 10 and juice plus 10. This can be gotten by talking to Small as Hero in Otherworld. Uh, he's the... He's basically the smallest centaur known to man. And... Nerdy Glasses automatically makes you look smarter. Defense plus 5 and increases hit rate. This can be gotten by talking to Basket Case as Hero in Last Resort. Hero seems to have done a lot of favors for people. Gold watch is next. Definitely 100% gold. You can tell by the weight. Speed minus 10. This is entirely a negative charm. This is something you can sell, though, I believe. This is found at the Underwater Highway Cave. But yeah, you can just sell this for clams. It's useless otherwise. Hard hat is next. More difficult than an easy hat. Defense plus 6. This is gotten by completing the Itchy Quest at Orange Oasis. Next is Headband. Used to keep the hair out of your face. Raises most stats. Uh, unfortunately, not as much as the Cough Mask. Uh, this is gotten from an Abbey Tentacle at Otherworld Cattail Field. Pretty simple. It does increase my speed more, but... Not really too concerned about that with Aubrey. Next is the Heart String. Fragile. Treat well. Heart plus 30, and wearer starts happy in battle. This is gotten at the Experiment 667 chase, and again, it is missable. Make sure you get all the items during the chase before finishing it. Next is High Heels. Makes you taller. Kel would probably like these. Attack plus 10 and speed minus 10. Makes sense to, to decrease your speed. I hear those things are very uh, 
unwieldy. This can be gotten from Molly after completing her quest in the Hikikomori route. Homework is next, the bane of every child's existence. Where starts sad in battle. <laughs> uh, this is found after the green teleporter in Humphrey. It's just found in a watermelon item box somewhere. Inner tube is next. Makes swimming easier yet harder. Defense increases with more energy. This is found at the Pearl Cave in Underwater Highway, which is also where the Shady Mole makes his, uh, his, uh, hideout. Next is Magical Bean. Where starts battle with a random emotion. Interesting. This is found at the Lost Forest, so this can be missable. Onion Ring is next. Just one. Heart plus 20 and Juice plus 20. This is from the Humphrey matching game inside Humphrey. Paper Bag. Wear it over your head. Defense plus 13, Heart plus 40, and Prevents Emotion. Okay. This is found in the Abyss. And let's see. Uh, what's not here right now is Hector. Uh, it's basically Kel's starting charm. It does nothing. It literally does nothing. And it leaves it leaves the charm list as soon as you go up the go up the ladder to Otherworld for the first time. But other than that, here is Pretty Bow, a polka dot bow, too fast, too flashy for your taste. Heart plus fifty, attack plus ten, and defense plus three. This can be found from an Abbey Tentacle at Snow Globe Mountain. Next is Punching Bag. Has a picture of Kel on it. Where starts angry in battle? This is from the Last Resort Basement. Weird how it's there. <laughs> but, yeah. Rabbit Foot is next. A little yucky, but keeps you lucky. Nice rhyme. You're a poet and don't know it. Speed plus 15 and luck plus 10. This is gotten from Leafy for killing 50 bunnies, so it's basically the ultimate, uh, it's the ultimate reward for clearing the bunny killer quest. The rabbit killer quest. Next is Red Ribbon. A pretty red ribbon. Defense plus 5, attack increases with more energy. This is found from the small island at Otherworld Lake. There's just like a little watermelon item box there that you can, like, find it in. Deep Poetry Book. Hey, this isn't alphabetical. Touches the soul deeply. Where it starts sad in battle. This is found from the from completing the fascinating literature quest. Yeah, for some reason, some items, some charms are just not listed alphabetically. I don't know if it's like an issue with coding or whatnot, but, you know. This is how they show up in order, so. Next is Rubber Duck. A cute rubber duck doesn't like you very much. Defense plus seven. This is found from completing a good listener quest. Next is sales tag, which I have a Mori with right now. Who can resist a sale? Reduces cost of the first skill used in battle. Very, very useful. In order to get this, you buy an item from each of the six jashes. So, yeah. Jash is basically those, like, square enemies that you find throughout. Uh, all you have to do is buy an item from each and you'll get this. Now, apparently, I read this on the wiki. I haven't quite tested it yet, but apparently, instead of it just reducing the cost of the first skill used in battle, it does it for all skills, no matter when you use it. So... That's actually extremely helpful, especially since Amori has a lot of really heavy-hitting skills that also use up a lot of juice. So, this is probably the best charm for Amori. 
So next, after sales tag, is... Seer Goggles. Goggles that know everything. Defense plus one, luck plus three, and increases hit rate. In order to get this, you just deposit five pieces of trash at Otherworld's recycle machine. Next is Top Hat. Hope it's not haunted. Defense plus 13, luck plus 13, heart plus 13. Isn't 13 an unlucky number? You get this from Top Hat Ghost after completing the Ghost Party quest. That's right. After completing the quest, don't forget to talk to all of the ghosts during the party to get some nice items. Next is Hector Jr. can talk, but is very shy. Stats increase with more energy. You can get this by finding Hector at Dino's Dig level 1. And Wedding Ring. Ruthlessly discarded by Sweetheart. Increases all stats and where it starts happy. I bet Amori would like to give this to Aubrey. You get this by defeating SpaceX Husband at Snow Globe Mountain. Wishbone, for all your wish-making needs, luck plus seven. This is found at Orange Oasis after cutting Young Shroom to jump up to a ledge above. And in order to learn how to cut up Young Shrooms, you have to find the Shroom... You have to find and interact with the Shroom at Sweetheart's Castle Garden. Veggie Kid, a young vegetable. Heart plus 15 and Juice plus 15. You get this by completing the Rain Town quest found in Orange Oasis. And you have to complete it right, because <laughs> you can fail it. Next, which I don't have, because it's one of four items that you can only get one of. A uh, watering pail. Agree with Spring Mole at Sprout Mole Village. It just gives you juice plus 10. Uh, basically what that means is that there are four Sprout Moles standing in a line in Sprout Mole Village. Each one uh, prefers a specific uh, season. Uh, they give their reasons for preferring those seasons, and if you agree with them, you get an item from them. But you can't get you can't get the items that the others are carrying after that. So you can only get one per playthrough. Uh, the one that I do have though is Rake. Embodies the spirit of fall. Attack plus three. This is gotten by agreeing with Fall Mole at Sprout Mole Village. Right next to that is Scarf. Agree with Winter Mole at Sprout Mole Village. Defense plus three. That's... that's basic. Cotton Ball is next. A fluffy ball of cotton. Defense plus one and speed plus three. This is gotten from Leafy for killing five bunnies. Flashlight brightens up a room. Defense plus four. To get this, you have to deposit ten pieces of trash at Otherworld's recycle machine. And Universal Remote can change the universe, increases all stats. You have to deposit 50 pieces of trash at Otherworld's Recycle Machine. Here's the kicker, though. That thing that says, can change the universe, that's actually more than just flavor text. Having this equipped will allow you to access many uh, back entrances to the black space, only in the Hikikomori route. Actually, no, I think you can do it in a, in a normal playthrough as well. I think you can do it in a normal playthrough as well. It basically allows you to access the expanded black space without having to actually go into the Kikamori route. I could be wrong with, on that, I don't know. Next is Chef's Hat, the pride of every chef. Defense plus 15 and re restores juice every turn. Uh, this is gotten from an Appy Tentacle at Orange Oasis kind of nice being able to like restore your juice constantly. Nexus TV remote changes channels on the TV. Defense plus two and heart plus five. This is gotten from a trash container at Junkyard before the download window boss. 
and another one I don't have. The, the last the last of the four seasonal items is sunscreen. You get it by defeat by agreeing with the Summer Mole at Sprout Mole Village. It gives you heart plus 15, so... Next is Contract, a powerful piece of paper. Trades heart and juice for other stats. I believe it reduces your heart and juice down to its base levels, but gives you stat increases for everything else. Uh, you get this by defeating Mr. Jossum. Next is Flower Crown, which I believe I have Hero wearing. Yes. Uh, this is a precious gift made by Basil. Heart plus 100 and Juice plus 25. To get this, you have to talk to Basil after the Headspace reset at the playground. So yes, this is during the Hikikomori route. Uh, something special about Basil's uh, equipment is that you can actually give that to Basil during the uh, Basil Boss Rush segment in the console versions. Um, so I, so before starting the Basil Boss Rush, I do recommend to take off any of these Basil, um, any of these Basil charms, so that Basil can wear them. Because uh, this flower crown, if Basil wears it, uh, he will actually be able to use the flower crown skill, which deals heavy damage four times and is essentially his version of Omori's red hand skill. Very, very useful skill for the Basil boss rush. Uh, next thing that I don't have is Abby's eye. I'll show a picture of it. In fact, I've been showing pictures of these uh, items that I don't have. Abby's Remains. Predicts who a foe will target at the start of battle. You heard that right. This is kind of like Shulk's Visions. <laughs> I had to make a Xenoblade reference. I'm sorry. I don't know if I did that before, but... Um, yes, when starting a battle, if you have this equipped... The user will be able to predict which party member a foe will target, so you so you can like preemptively heal or you know protect someone. Um, it also increases attack by forty, speed by forty, luck by forty, and yeah, that's essentially it. Um, it greatly decreases heart and juice, though. Um, in order to get this item, you have to defeat Abby and then not spare her. So it's either get it's either get this item or get a bunch of good items from the tentacles. It's your choice. Uh, next is the tulip hair stick right here. Um, Plain, simple, and bulbous. Heart plus 50, and where gains more e EXP. Um, after the headspace reset in the Hikikomori route, uh, this is one of four items that can be found inside Basil's house. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if Basil wears this during the Basil boss rush, he will learn the special Tulip skill, which deals damage to all foes depending on Omori's level stats. So, it'll be it'll be the most powerful if if you're at like max level. Uh, next up is Gladiolus hairband. I believe I have Kel wearing that. Yes, represents strength of character, attack plus ten, luck plus ten, and increases hit rate. Um, this is also gotten at Basil's house after the headspace reset, and if Basil wears this during the Basil boss rush, uh, he will be able to use the Gladiolus skill, which deals big damage that always ignores defense. It will always hit right in the heart regardless of any buffs or debuffs, so always a critical hit. So pretty, pretty nice. 
Next is Cactus Hair Clip. Let me get down to it. A very sturdy and resilient plant. Defense plus 15 and heart plus 15. This is also found at Basil's house after the headspace reset. And uh, if Basil wears this, he will be able to use the Cactus skill, which deals damage based on the user's defense and heart instead of attack. Interesting. And finally, Rose Hair Clip. Versatile and universally loved. Increases all stats. This is one of the better items, I believe. In my personal opinion. Uh, this is also found out in Basil's house after the headspace reset. Uh, if Basil wears this, he will be able to use the Rose skill, which allows him to act first by reducing all foes' attack by one tier, as well as healing all friends for 40% of their heart, according to the wiki. Figured, figured like I mentioned that because I said it word for word. <clears throat> and yeah, that is all of the... That is all of the charms found in Headspace. Now the only thing left is, uh... The charms you can find in real life. So let me go ahead and save. Even though I didn't really do anything. And I am going to go ahead and go here. Uh, let's just turn down the music. Cuz I don't I don't I don't want this uh disturbing music playing. Okay, there we go. I'll just put in my own little music here. So for the charms, uh, well, it's kind of different in, uh, in the real life. These are all you have. Uh, usually, charms found in the, uh, real life faraway town segments, they don't do anything. They're just something that you can collect. Uh, all of these ones that you see right here, all the way down to Chimera Keychain, you can, got, you can get them from the Hobbies Capsule Vendor. Now, interestingly enough, you can... You, you do get these randomly, but you can't get duplicates. So you'll eventually... You'll eventually get them all. If you just keep spending, like, money in the vendor. Next is Pet Rock, the most loyal rock. This is bought from Hobbies for $10. This... Uh, e equipping this will allow you to uh, play Pet Rock with other Pet Rock players. Uh, flower Clip. Uh, you get this by interacting with Charlene at Fix It during one day left. So just find her and she'll give this to you. The Red Headband and the Orange Headband. Those are gotten by buying five apple juices and five orange juices, respectively. Funny enough, you can't have both apple juice and orange juice, from my, to my knowledge. But you can have both of these. So... Uh, cool glasses. You get this by scoring at least 6,000 points at an arcade and hobbies. The seashell necklace, the one that I have wearing right now, is the only charm in real life that actually increases stats. Defense plus 5, heart plus 25, juice plus 25. I really recommend wearing this if you're doing the, um, if you're doing the Recycultist base, like, optional dungeon in, during one day left. Because that'll help, that'll help Sunny actually survive from being, like, one hit KO'd by the by the, uh, Recycle Path. I, I, this is definitely a recommended charm. Uh, you get this from Chris, you just have to give her three seashells. And she'll make it for you. Um, another, another charm that I don't believe I have here, no I do not, is the Gold Watch or quote-unquote Gold Watch gotten from the smelly hobo after giving him ten dollars. Uh, you only get one, 
you only get one of these. You either get the real gold watch or the fake gold watch. Uh, it's randomized per playthrough. And like I said, you can only get one. If you get the fake gold watch, then tough luck. But if you get the real gold watch, you can actually sell it for a hundred dollars, so... I got, I got lucky with this playthrough. <clears throat> At any rate, this next one that I've been hovering over is Fedora. Goes on your head, but it shouldn't. Uh, defeat... You get this by defeating the creepy guy at Pet Rocks in Charlene's house. In case you're unaware of what, of what Charlene's house is, it's the one with the old lady. Next is You Rock Cap, a prestigious cap bestowed upon the Pet Rock Champion. 100% cotton. This is... the, the description is self-explanatory. You get this by defeating all the Pet Rocks players, which requires a lot of luck. I can't stress this enough. Uh, one that I don't have is the pinwheel. This is Aubrey's default charm. She sticks it on the stump in Honey's backyard during one day left, so, yeah. But uh, this one, paintbrush, you get this from the artist at two days left after finding her dog. I don't believe you have to keep helping her. I don't believe you had, had to have, have helped her in uh, three days left, you can, you can just get this. Uh, next is Cool Bottle Cap. You get this by defeating Recycle Path at one day left, so, yeah, I got it. And another one that I don't have, and that I can't look at right now, because I'm by myself, is Kel's Pet Rock. Uh, you can imagine, it's just Kel's default charm. From what I can tell, Hero does not wear a charm himself, but why does he need to wear a charm if they don't do anything? But anyway, that's actually completely it. That's all of the equipment and weapons in Amori. Next up, I'm going to be doing the achievements, but that'll be it for this video. This has been Mr. Bacon Bits. With Amori, stay safe, happy, and healthy, and I will catch you next time. See you guys later.